dog. Come on, Abby. Abby's x-rayed for signs of cancer. You're okay, but most cancers end up in the lungs and the So I'm taking an x-ray, just double check. Okay. Don't see anything that I'm concerned about, you know. I mean, the dog's got a little bit of a bronchial pattern, um, what I call old dog lung. But I'm not, you know, I don't see any, any metastasis in. It looks like cancer, so we'll take that eyeball out and see what's behind it. If there is cancer, it's going to be inside the eyeball. That's not as bad as having it outside because the eyeball tends to contain it pretty well. Uh, but we're just not going to know until we get done with the surgery. Let's see. It's clear that the eyeball is in the glaucomic stage. It's, it's big, it's swollen, it's, it's hard. But I don't get the impression there's anything behind the eye whatsoever. Tough right there. I'm basically just going around the orbital bone, cutting the connections. We need to take this, cut it in half. Let's just see. Okay, we got a huge blood clot here. That's solid blood in there. I don't feel or see anything that looks like cancer. We close a lot, but we don't put thick eyeballs in or anything like that. Some people do. I like the dog care. It won't make a difference to her whatsoever, and the hair will grow there, and you know, so it's just no big deal. To me, it'd be like having a freaking migraine, and I'd be glad, glad that the migraine's gone, you know? So obviously, Abby feels much better now. Abby's gonna go home tomorrow morning. Um, she's recovering. The eyeball was clearly swollen. It was just one big blood clot in there. I'm sure Abby could feel her heart just pulsing in that eye. There can't be anything worse than that, so. Yeah, getting rid of that eye is, is a real good thing for her.